Hello, in this Python programming video, we are going to look at modifying the menu. So every single little application has this little menu here. On Mac, it's sort of in this top bar. On Windows, I'll show you. So if I type in Windows application, this should help us get an image up. So like on this image right here we've got the menu items so we've got a like file option view process like file is usually always there and you might have like an edit depending on what sort of application it, it is but these are sort of common sort of menu drop downs and we're essentially going to be modifying that because if we were to run our application currently this is what comes up. So these are just the default one that is put in there. We're going to override it. So I want you to have what we want. And I'm going to show you how to attach it to functions as well. That's going to sort of be an extra task for you, but it's going to be really, really cool stuff. So first of all, you need to create a menu bar. So menu bar equals menu window. Go spell menu right window. So that's what we're drawing it to. Now we need to create the menus themselves. So you know each one of these. That's a menu. That's a menu. That's another menu. That's another one. That's another one. That's another one. So you get the picture. I'm gonna do two of them. You know, just to save time. But you know, once you know the basics in this video, you'll be all good to go. Menu one. I'm waiting to type in there. It happens sometimes. It's just my IDE, the Python one that I'm using. If you use an external one, you should not have an issue at all. Okay, so what we're going to do is menu one equals menu, menu bar, like so. Now we're going to do menu one dot add. This is the add command, and now this is essentially adding you know, one of these. And we'll just call it label equals new because that's a very common thing to have or something along those lines. And we're not going to attach any function to it, we'll attach function to something else. And do menu one dot add underscore separator. So I want to demonstrate a separator as well see if any of these have this up yeah see this sort of line here that's a separator so you don't need one but it's you know good to know how to do it menu one dot add underscore command and here we're going to do label equals exit command equals window dot quit so this is just a built-in function, so it's just accessing the window quit functionality. And that's how you attach a method. That, that is it. You command the name and the method. So if the method was just called uh, hello world and you had it let's say defined up here, you know, like def hello world, for example, and then you had functionality there, you know, we've called function before. That's what you would do. So the next task, I want to like add some sort of pop-up message, log something in the console, and just do some crazy wacky stuff. So now what we're going to do is menu bar dot add underscore cascade, and this is how we actually add this particular whole menu to it now. So we do add cascade. We specify the label, so this would be file edit format, like what this actually says there. And I'm just going to say function one. We do menu equal menu one, so we need to specify what we're adding it to, or what we, well, I mean, which menu we were adding to the menu bar. Sorry, and now we just do that. And if we do menu two equals menu menu bar, so now we're just going to do menu two dot add underscore command label equals. Let's do undo. That's a very common one, and we'll title this one you know, edit menu or 
it'll be similar to an edit menu we'll just call it section two actually now we'll do menu two dot we don't need to add a separator we know what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna add this directly this is enough now i'm gonna do menu bar i'll copy this because this will save a lot of time and i'll call this section two menu two and finally we just need to do window.config so it's a lot different to what we've done before and because we're configuring the actual current menu bar by default there's always one there menu bar and run it see what we get invalid syntax in there okay forgot to close bracket run it again there we go it's been changed now so i was new and do do nothing because we have not actually programmed any functionality with the command method if i click exit my thinking it's still open as you can see it did close here it's just to do with the python idea le the way it debugs it because if i were to run this again and i'm going to press if i click x it quits it but if i run it again and if i were to go press command q on my keyboard as you can see it closes it but it doesn't you know exit it so again that's nothing to do with this i can demonstrate it right now if i were to just go to terminal and if i run this file oh, let's, just, let's just change directly to desktop and the py file.py I'm not missing. Mm. No module name T Kinter. Okay, so I can't actually access the T Kinter module from the old have to export it manually. But trust me, it will work. A okay, that exit command will. So that's it for the menu tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. As usual, there will be a link with this video, as there are with every other widget video in this series that basically provides all the different functions that you can use to enhance this particular widget. If you need any assistance, feel free to reach out and I look forward to seeing you in the next programming tutorial.